Is it possible to load this kind of map, which is a picture, into a, G, a GIS project with QGIS? For example, let's say that you have a whole map, it's scanned, but you, it's not geo-referenced. And can you do it? You can actually do it here in QGIS. Okay, for that there is two techniques. I will show it to you. Uh, I'll show both of them. So for that you will load a picture. So because it's, it's a picture, it will be transformed in a raster, not a vector. Okay. So it's probably here that you will find a tool to do some georeferencing. Actually, you need to you need to install those plugins. Okay, if you go manage and install plugins in all, you want to do georeferencing. So you write georef and you start to see two cool ones: freehand raster georeferencer and georeferencer GitHub. Okay, so please install both of them if you want, or just one of them. Anyway, I sh I'll show it to you with the two techniques. Let's start with georeferencer. So, first of all, you will have to load your picture. For that, you will have to uh, install open raster to open the raster. Have a look to your picture. For me, it's in my desktop. Here, Galapagos, it's a JPEG. Et voilà, I have my picture. <laughs> Not very precise, but maybe. You have very precious uh, maps from uh, colleagues, very old. I mean the, the map, not the colleagues, but probably also because they have old map with precious information, but it's not geo-referenced and how to put it on your project. So for that, you you have to explain that this area, I know the coordinates and I will enter it. Okay. So for that, you will add a point here, for example, and either you enter the coordinates, the longitude, lat latitude, but will be lazy and it's more efficient, uh, less mistakes, we'll do it from a map, canvas, okay? So let's go on a map. Oh, there is no maps, no worry, I load a map. Let's go on map tiller from the previous uh, video. I load the satellite, satellite, and let's go in Galapagos. Yeah, we are biologists, so we dream about our mecca. Oh, voila. So we can recognize here we have the Galapagos. So uh, let me open not this one. The other picture, where is it? Raster, referencer. Uh, where are you hiding? Oh. Ah, it's here. Okay, so we don't enter the coordinates, we'll do it from the map. So you, now we have a cross. Okay, it's a cross because you want. Uh, my position so I won't be super precise because it's for demonstration but it was here then automatically I have the coordinate okay then you need at least three points okay because he will try to put this picture on the reality but because you know that all uh, map from a globe will be projected on a flat thing you will have a distortion so more point you will have and more precise your distortion will be. Let's put one more here from the map. Oh, I forget it was here. Yeah. Okay, then one here from the map here. Okay, let's put one in this on this island. And why not? One here. Uh, I forget <laughs> this one. Okay, I'm wrong or not? Okay, yeah. 
Then I have one, two, three, four, five, five points over there. Okay. You have the coordinate, they are the red dot. Then you can start. Start geo referencing with a little uh, triangle sign here. Please set transformation type. He wants to uh, uh, precision about how it will be distorted, okay, to fit. So Helmert is quite is good, okay. My advice, if you don't know, use Helmert, okay. Then you say you are ready. Did I forget something or what? Raster successfully referenced. Et voilà. You can close. Save the point. No, not anymore. I don't need. And ta -da! You have your nasty, your ugly little map just over there. You see? It's this raster layer. If I remove it. Okay. Okay. So obviously you can change the transparency. Let's do that. And you can see how the fitting is good or not. Symbology. Uh, I don't recognize. Ah, transparency here, here. Okay. And then you can see, not so bad, you have your, uh, your uh, picture now, which is geo-referenced. So maybe you want to work on this one, and you want to know the length, I don't know, the distance from here to here, or you want to draw some polygons, or whatever. Anyway, you are able to geo-reference a picture. Now let's do the other way. I remove this one. Okay. I make the background visible with the satellite image. Let's return on raster. Then now we'll use freehand raster geo referencer. Okay. So let's load the image. This one. Had new. Oh, wait, wait, wait. First, you have to try to, to, to find a view which is as close as possible as your image, like this one, because it will put it straight on it, and then you will have to stretch to move it by yourself. So put a good picture close to what you want to load, to geo-reference. Okay, I want this one, had new. Boom! So it's here. Obviously, put a bit of transparency, and you can do it also from here anyway. Transparency plus, you see, transparency minus. And then we'll move it. So, a bit more transparency, uh, no, and plus, so plus transparency. And then you can move on a different way. For example, just like this. Then you can rotate, for example, rotate, no need to rotate, I think. We'll need to adjust the side, why not? And then you can see the deformation, you will write, ro uh, work on it. Okay, to find the best deformation. Uh, okay, so you can also propose some points. Okay, to fit, etc., etc. I will reduce the size. Okay, not so bad. Move a bit manually. Something like that. And then, you are done. Uh, if I remember well, you have to do something or it's finished. No, it's not finished. Et voilà. Then you have your map, which is now geo-referenced. Okay? Et voilà.